Hello, and welcome to another episode from Baby Walk World! On this episode we have action! We have drama! We have suspense! And we have cake. But before, I want to thank Baby Dora patrons that made possible to buy a new keyboard, and so I can complete my annoying trilogy. My stupid moving cursor, my feet voice, and now my keyboard sounds. You guys are truly amazing, and by amazing I mean this. So, you know how Rust is taking over the open source world, and especially GNOME, and if you want to start with GNOME programming, Rust is really the place to begin from. And anyway, because my previous video was on Z Shell, I thought to upload a demo with a Linux shell written on Rust. And I bet you will love it, unless you know it already. So, the shell is called New Shell, and it is all about composing and functional programming. The project has only a few months of life, but it can do crazy lots, it has insane development, and I will only demo a tiny portion of the things it can do. In you, to start it. And here I run version 0.4, from a Fedora Copa repository. It is mostly a beta release, and it has some annoyances, with auto-completions be one of them. But auto-completions is just a small detail on what's coming. And I will start with ls command, that is a new shell specific command. So we get this fancy table, but if that isn't what we want, we can compose ls with a tree command. Pretty cool, right? I first time tried new shell today, so I don't know much, but one thing I do know, is that new shell is all about tables, so I will go back on table mode and I will start compositing. So, ls, pipe. Where? Type equals directory. And that will give us a list with folders only. Let's continue. Pipe pick the name. and the modified date. And that will give us a table only with name and modified date columns. And it only gets better, because we can actually parse our data to a different format. For example a JSON. Pipe, to JSON. And that will give us the previous table in a JSON format. And it can do the opposite too, and much much more. A handy variable is the $IT, that will grab the previous output and we can send it to an external command like echo. Another command is the open command, that can open files, and it isn't like a big deal, but it has some nice coloring. Ooh, the sweet sweet code of dash to panel extension. Say whatever you want, but this thing makes GNOME shell actually useful. Next let's try the ps command, that is again a new shell specific command. In general there is an effort from Rust community to replace classic Linux utilities with Rust ones, that are obviously much much faster. So, we again having a table, and we can again do, pipe, where, CPU, is greater than zero. And that will give us all the processes that consume CPU, although it doesn't live update. Next let's try the sys command, that shows system information. That gives embedded tables, and now we can tell, sys, pipe, get, and the name of the column we want, in this case disks. And that opened the table disks, that was inside a column of sys table. But it only gets crazier from now on. And I want you to show my very favorite feature of this shell. Or at least the very favorite from those I know, because I bet there are lots I'm missing here. So, let's run the lsmod command, 
that is an external command, and we don't have any special format. And now watch this awesomeness! We can say, lsmod pipe from ssv and that will give us a table. Actually we can even write our own regular expressions to create custom tables, and even create plugins for them for frequent use. And so, we can now start compositing again, on an external command. Pipe. Where. Module. Equals. NVIDIA. And boom! Which reminds me, I tried to run Wayfire on Wayland with Nouveau drivers, and while it seems to work, the mouse doesn't, so I can't make a video on that. Sorry! <laughs>